welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My first guest this evening is an actor and director you know from The Office, Jack Ryan, and A Quiet Place. He is just written, directed, and stars in the upcoming movie, If. Please welcome back to The Late Show, John Krasinski. <laughs> It's always just absolutely lovely to have you here. Thanks Venmo for being here. clearly works. I, <laughs> exactly. I paid each and every one of them. Thank uh, you, guys. That was amazing. Happy Super Bowl. Thank you very much. Happy Super Bowl. Thank you. Happy Super Bowl to you. Thank you very much. It's We're enjoying our Super Bowl show here tonight. Did you, did you have a chance to watch the game backstage? I did, yep. In fact, how about that game? Those teams. Yep. <laughs> the team that had red and white in their uniform? They just, amazing. and so much. Yep. And so, <laughs> um, uh, it is awards season. You know, I don't know if you know this, but yes, uh, and I am... those of us in Hollywood, you are uh, have got the best date to this uh, award season this year. You and your lovely wife, oh, Emily Blunt. <laughs> this is the two of you. Golden Globes, right? Golden Globes, yeah. Golden Globes. Look, I, am... I mean, just look radiant, absolutely incandescent. She sure does. Beautiful. Yeah, she, she is. Sure She's does. so beautiful. Yeah. It's getting a little weird, but yeah, yeah. no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, a man can appreciate a beautiful woman. That's nothing. Wrong? Nope. Nope. There's nothing wrong. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, your just, outfit. Just, there yep. we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She, she's nominated for an incredible performance. Yep. As Kitty Oppenheimer in, in Oppenheimer. Um, did you hang out on the set? Were you there with all the Oppenheimer gang? Did not go to set. No, I was on the press tour for a while. I went to the. Um, why, did, Harris you wink, why did you wink at me when you did that? Well, because it's away from the camera. Oh, they got it on that one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like you weren't on the press tour for a while. I was on, on the, the press tour. Press tour for a while. Um, yeah, I was just taking credit for the movie when I was out there. I was like, guys, oh. we did it. We all did it. We Chris, I'm so glad you listened to what I said because sure. it worked. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're a director. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, director. a director. You're British. I'm not. It works. <laughs> you know, he's only half British. That's true. He grew up in Evanston, Illinois. Yes, that yeah. is true, yeah. Accent is completely made up. Yeah, I just realized that. Yeah. Yeah. You can when tell he was on the show slips. a few days ago. Yes. Did you see when he was on the show a few days ago? <laughs> White team, red team. <laughs> your favorite play in the game tonight. What was your favorite play oh my in tonight's God. game? When that guy and he... Oh! It was good. It was good. Woo! Unbelievable. Oh, play that back in slow mo. Yeah. Now uh, you have, and I'm very excited about this because I actually saw a little early clips of this because I'm you? special. Yeah. You've got a new movie coming out this spring called If. That's right. Which you uh, wrote, direct, and produced, right? And you're That's in true. it. I am in it. Yeah. Do you are you also the gaffer and the caterer? <laughs> What else, what else are I you tried. Doing? They wouldn't let me. I did, though, because Imaginary Friends are, uh, there's a lot of visual effects. So we didn't have actual ifs on set, but we had puppets. Ifs is I am imaginary, imaginary friend. friend. Okay, yeah. there you go. And so uh, I would actually puppet the Imaginary Friends to the other actors. Is that what this is? But these, yes. are, these are like, there's Ryan Reynolds in the background, yeah. and when you holding a puppet unicorn. That's a puppet unicorn, and that is actually my wife right here. That's Emily Blunt is the. Wow. Wow, That's she's the voice amazing. Of that. She's so versatile. I know, right? Yes. She was wearing then, that suit. And this, and this, what, what's going on here? That is a pink alligator named Allie. And so I would interact with the actors for them like they needed that. They were like, honestly, just stand back. It's very intimidating. That's actually my daughter's real imaginary friend. Oh, really? Yeah. I put, so I wrote the movie for my kids. Um, before that, oh, it's very, thank you. Before that, I think they thought I was an accountant. <laughs> Because um, I was like, I'm going to work. And they were like, yeah, right. Because they couldn't see Jack Ryan or A Quiet Place. So I don't think they knew where I was going. So they don't, they, don't, they don't know what daddy does? Nope. They do now. They do now. Okay. So I wrote, uh, no, what happened was during the pandemic, I'd had this idea for a long time. But during the pandemic, I just saw the light going out in my kids. And I saw them sort of trying to figure out life and figure out what was going on. And I 
wrote a movie to show them that there's always hope. There's always someone there behind you that has your back and you can always turn to. So we created, there you go. That's lovely. That's really lovely. Really lovely. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's about, really lovely. <laughs> thank there you. you. <laughs> Uh, there's a, uh, there was a teaser in the Super Bowl tonight. There was. We did a fun which that little is, bit. That's yeah. a pricey little ad there. It was. And yeah. I want to get your you know, get you your money's worth out of it. So I thought maybe we'd show a little hey, bit of it again. Thank you very right much, here. Jim. Show the folks, please. Hi, I'm John Krasinski, director of the upcoming film If. Now, If is a movie about what? You're not John Krasinski. Something's happening. Hi. 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 I'm not gonna ask you again. Put some pants on. You're freaking everyone out. That is, I recognized a few voices in there. This, sure this, did. it's got, a, it's got a, a stacked cast. It's got obviously Emily Blunt. It's got Steve Carell, Matt Damon, John Stewart, Ryan Reynolds, Sebastian Maniscalco, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Fiona Shaw, Richard Jenkins, Aquafina, Vince Vaughn, Stephen Colbert. Oh wait, I'm not in it. I'm not. <laughs> That is, that's weird. Did you? Guys, do we have a mic? We could just do a quick voice over here. Just, just bring in the, no, we, we could, we could. I could try to get you in the movie right now. I, I love you, Cindy. All right, let's go again. <laughs> what imagine, I didn't have an imaginary friend, so but I don't know I, what No, they but do. we got to talk about Cindy, because okay. that's, that's I don't all know. I want to know about I, now. <laughs> I think I'm the imaginary friend of the girl named Cindy. I just chose a child. Is there a child named Cindy in this movie? No. <laughs> No. Never too late. Have you finished the movie? I have not. I have a couple more days. So hey there. Uh, you know what? We already got it, right? We have the I love you, Cindy. <laughs> That's all I need. That's in. Yeah. Did you have an imaginary friend growing up? This is all imaginary. This is. <laughs> You're my imaginary friend. So this, none of this is real. This isn't even the Super this, Bowl this night. Is just... You're saying that we're this not actually here right. on Super Bowl night? Is that what you're trying to tell me? That's why we don't know who's playing. <laughs> oh, I know who's playing. Oh, right, right, right. It's Kansas that... City versus the 49ers. Oh. How long ago do you think Wait we recorded a minute. this? Wait a minute. <laughs> it's the New York Knickerbockers no, every, versus the yeah. Chicago Balloons. <laughs> um, it says here, bonus question. Should we do the bonus question? Oh, do we have like a wheel that we can <laughs> Sure. There we go. Here's your bonus question. Wow! That was very That's what you get with action. Come on. Action. Ryan Gosling is going to be on the show right after you. Mm -hmm. He's the next guest yes. after you. Uh, he's promoting a movie with your, your lovely and talented wife, Emily. <laughs> oh, it's gross when you do it. <laughs> Grosser. It's more gross. No. When you stick your finger in my mouth, it's not gross. But if I wipe away, just nothing special, nothing bad. It's getting worse. Okay. It's, get it's called The Fall Guy. Is it, is it, uh, how it. do you feel about your wife in a rom com with Ken? He's oh. got that, he's got that Kennergy, man. Yeah. Yeah? Well, I know I'm, I, I know I'm Knuff, you know, so. <laughs> I knew that, yeah. You got the Jonergy in a fight. Who would win, Jack Ryan or Ken? Um, is Ryan playing a role or is he himself? Because if he's playing a role, Jack Ryan's going to roll him. But if he's playing himself, he would hand me my <laughs> lunch. Yeah. Ryan Gosling would, would yeah, hand Yeah, I think he ass. would kick. How? You're a big guy, man. Am I? What? You're a big guy. Yeah. I, have Stand I ever up. proven Stand it to up. you? Stand what? <laughs> you tried. Oh, let's do it right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> you. Right now. Here we go, baby. Here we go. I'm gonna warn our affiliates. He might be going long. Okay. Tell Ryan, tell Gosling to. I'm warning our affiliates. Turn away now. <laughs> Turn away. There you go. Yeah. You've gone soft. Look at that. You've gone soft. Oh my God. Come on. Oh Let's do it. God. Ready? Okay. Uh, ready? I'm like twisted. We, we my got, back's. Okay. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Ready? ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Opens in theaters on May 17th. John Krasinski, everybody. We'll be